Hello everyone and welcome back to Coded by Jade. In this video, I'll be explaining how to learn a new program language and make it stick. I have recently been actively trying to transition away from Python being my primary language and therefore I have been solidifying my knowledge of C++ and I'll be using this to demonstrate the process of learning a new language. Before I continue with this video, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more content. I also wanted to say that I know a lot of my viewers and quite a lot of my subscribers are attracted mostly to my Preparation for University video series. A-level results day is coming up very soon, so turn on post notifications to be the first to see the range of videos based on preparing for a computer science degree in the next fortnight. The first steps of learning a new language, for me anyway, is to go to codecademy.com and I have the free version or using the pro version, start a new course in the programming language you wanted to learn. I did this recently for C++, but this works for other languages such as Java and Python should you wish to learn it. And I believe Codecademy is quite good because it teaches you the basics of the language before really getting started so that you know the syntax and basic grammar rules such as taking inputs and outputs, variables, constants and data types, conditions and logic, functions, classes and objects, and language specific knowledge. And by language specific knowledge, I mean that sometimes depending on the programming language, there are different rules that may or may not apply for that specific language. For example, Python is an interpreted language and therefore it doesn't really deal with situations such as references and pointers in a way that I had to learn for C++. So there are different things that I've learnt. Next, you shouldn't be afraid to look online for help. After Codecademy, of course you're not going to be an expert in the programming language and it takes a very long time for you to even come to grasp with all of the terms and all of the requirements for that language. So if you're coding and you f find yourself stuck, don't be afraid to go to online sources to find help. The top four sources I use to help with learning a new programming language are W3 Schools, Geeks for Geeks, Reddit on the community Learn Programming, and Stack Overflow. And these are all really great tools to learn how to program in a new language and learn specific things that you want to do that you didn't learn using Code Academy or other sources. The next step is to begin problem solving using that language to get used to the syntax. In this instance for C++, I used LeetCode to help me learn the syntax. And as with step two, whenever I got stuck on how to demonstrate what I was trying to solve, I looked straight online for help on the exact grammar and syntax to use. And I didn't let this stop me from solving the problem. And LeetCode and leak code is a great way of identifying your weaknesses of that language and correcting them so that you can learn more than what you learned with Code Academy.
And finally, the best way to solidify your knowledge of learning a new programming language is to start building projects. In my last video, I discussed how to go about structuring any new projects you want to come up with and even deciding on a project idea. So be sure to check that out to learn more. So anyway, those were some quick tips on how to learn a new programming language and make it stick. Thank you for watching this video and remember to subscribe and turn on post notifications to see next videos. Bye!